And welcome to a new video here at Always Die Gaming. So I'm going to start a series on how to play Path of Exile. It's just a massive game and all the inner workings of the game. So I figured I'd start the series uh, basically just with the basics of, you know, logging into the game for the first time and then kind of get going. Uh, get up to the town and right before you start, actually start Act 1 and then we'll make, make a few more videos of all the inner workings between the Atlas tree, the, the passive tree, certain builds and all the, the add-ons that you can do such as path of building the trade apps that you can install to help make your life a lot easier so go ahead and get right into this so as you can see here we've got the main screen you can download the standalone version from path of exile or you can also install it straight from steam the choice is really yours it doesn't really make a difference now the servers you can get different servers on steam versus the standalone version so depending on where you're playing if you can't find a server near you maybe try the other one and you might have a server closer to you which will help with ping and just overall playing experience you can see here got the lake of calandra expansion reveal it comes out in about 12 days here so the new league's about to start so click login right here and got all the characters here that i've started but we'll go ahead and create a new character so you can pick here just regular standard you don't play in leagues play this character Nothing changes. You don't ever lose your stuff. It doesn't default to a different setting. Uh, this is what I generally play in. Sometimes I'll play in the leagues, but I mostly play in standard. You can do hardcore, which basically if you do play in hardcore and you die, you don't lose your character, you don't lose anything. It just becomes a standard non-hardcore character. You can also do solo self-found, where it disables trade league, and trade is a big portion of the game in non-solo self-found, obviously. So that's an option for you as well if you just want to, you know, go at it on your own. Then you have the League options here. So we're in the Sentinel League 3.18 right now. And you can do Sentinel Solo Self-Found. Or you can do Hardcore Sentinel. Or you can be crazy like Ziz and do Hardcore Solo Self-Found. But we'll just start in regular, regular Sentinel Trade League. So you have all of your characters here. Uh, I've got the Templar. To serve God, you were born with Shadow, body. Do you think you're Marauder, a savage enough? A scion of perfection in mind, body, and grace. Swift and silent, Ranger, stole the bounty of others. You were born to be swift duelist, and strong. Why do the king of witcher, mind seek witch, to satiate sorry. their curiosity in darkness <laughs> and so, depravity? That's the, the personal read of all this father, stuff right here. And which one to click on. Uh, which is, for me personally, is usually the easiest one to start a new character on, especially if you're playing in League. So that's Learn usually what I will pick. But you can pick whichever one you want. We can go into it is your all the specific book. characters uh, on another video. So here's where you start. So you got your Driftwood Wand here. The weapon that you start with, that just sitting sitting here on the ground, the will change depending on what character you pick. Malice. There's a power here that welcomes me. Like that, it'll automatically equip it for you. If you pick up something and you don't have it equipped in here, then it will automatically equip it. So you got your weapon, helmet. Offhand weapon, an amulet, two rings, your body armor, gloves, belt, and boots. Here's your flask, here's your stash tab, or your belt storage. Then over here you got your life, you got your mana flasks and life flask right here. There's tons of different other flasks you can put in there if you'd like. We'll get into that later. Here's your experience bar right here, I'm at level 1, 0% experience. And you've got your little hotkeys here, so this is your left mouse button. Uh, you can change pretty much all of these except for left and right mouse button. So this is my mouse for so the gaming mouse. Right click, then A, W, D, R, space, which is how I have it set up. And if you hit control, it'll pull up five more skills that you can use as well. Got a scroll of, identi uh, scroll of identity, scroll of wisdom, which identifies an item. And then you also get portal scrolls as well. If you played something like Diablo, then it's, it's pretty much the same. So I'll click on this die in exile. You can listen to what you they have to say if you'd like. But you basically just kill this guy. And it'll drop a the skill for you. Soon rise for me. So Not this gem here me. is fireball. If you start with a witch, it's always going to give you fireball. So just click here, drag it on there. Now it'll automatically set your right click to fireball. So fires a fireball. You can skip all the tutorials if you like, but if you're playing for the first time, they are pretty helpful. Because you know, it's a pretty in-depth game. If you've played Diablo or any of the other games like that, it's, there's a lot more to it. 
I also have a chance to ignite. So as you can see, that one ignited, that one didn't. So if you're, you know, hitting them with a fireball and it's they're not catching on fire, that's why. It's not always going to happen. So let's see, it'll tell you taking damage. Press one and heal yourself up. I usually like to kill the majority of the stuff here in the first first portion. Once you click on this one, it'll give you if you're playing a witch, arcane search. And you can always read them, you know, it'll tell you over here what to do. Basically, after you spend a certain amount of mana, Arcane Surge will give you more spell damage. This is a, a very good gem that a lot of builds use uh, if they do spell damage. Just go through here, kill all these little annoying guys. You can see up there in the corner, that's Arcane Surge. So it's telling me that I'm dealing more spell damage. I need more mana. And take a mana flask. Keep running through here. Eventually, it'll come up on the first. I guess I mean, it's technically a boss, mini mini boss of the game. You can rush through this if you want. You just run straight to the boss. No. I'd like to get a little bit more experience while I'm doing this. Right, there he is. Oh, he'll look. So. If you're not a melee build, then this is pretty much the strategy right here. You just run around. Should get him down to half health. Got him on fire. So that'll, as you can see, is he rips out his sword from himself. So once he catches on fire, you can see his health bar goes down pretty quick. As long as you keep running, you should be fine. You can't catch it, so. To ignite those oh, nice cool. so we're level dead two. woman by now so, wait for that to go away. okay so here's the skill tree we'll get into this in another video as well but basically if you're speaking if you're gonna pick a character and you want to do spells it's best to start on this way if they're here you get some intelligence nodes you got all your spell damage nodes cast speed which will help you cast stuff faster and then walk over here, and they will open the gate to Lion-Eyes Watch. So, walk through here. It's a multiplayer game, so you got, you know, characters. This is uh, the first act, uh, town, of the first of the game, so get your waypoint here if you played, like I said, you know, Diablo or any of the other games. Waypoint's a waypoint. Got your stash over here. Uh, as I said, I've been playing for a while, so Got all these stash tabs here. Uh, you'll start with these ones. As you can see, it doesn't have a little icon next to it. It just has a number. These just regular stash tabs. You start with a few. And the game's free. You don't have to buy anything. Ever. You legitimately never have to buy anything for this game to play it and enjoy it. Um, if you do want to start on Solo Self Found, then you realistically do not ever have to buy anything for the game. Uh, but if you want to trade and participate in Trade League, or not trade league, but uh, just trade in general, then you will need to buy uh, the premium tabs. They're not very expensive, but this will allow you to trade items. So I can kind of give you a, a quick example here. So if you put something in one of these tabs that you can trade in and you right click on it, let's see, I'll take it here. Oh, it's turned on yet. Okay, so if you right click on the tab, click public, and then you can price each item individually you can take offers, or you can set the uh, same price on a whole entire tab. You can see these tabs are all set specifically for one value. But if you do each item individually priced, you right click on it, and you can price stuff whenever you want. But like I said, we'll get into that later in another video. You got your guild stash. If you have a guild, you have some friends you want to play with, you can buy this, and then you guys can share, share stuff. Uh, you got Nessa. I saw what you did to Lion Eyes Watch isn't mine. Give you quests and purchase belts, flasks, better wands, rings, amulets, uh, portal scrolls, and you can also buy currency here as well. As you can see alterations, augmentation, and transmutation. 
Uh, those go into crafting, which is going to be a whole separate video because the crafting in this game is it's pretty in depth. Goodbye. A wayfish right, so as an island. This one, uh, Bastille. He will eventually uh, let you purchase items from him as well. Fine work with Hillock. And Tarkley, we got a uh, quest reward from killing Hillock. So take freezing pulse, and here you can buy weapons, armor, and you can also buy armor scrap, which will improve the quality of your armor, which will basically boost the base stat up there where it says armor 22. You can get it up to 20%. I think you can technically get stuff up to 30%, but with just these, you can level up to 20%. Farewell. So that's pretty much the town. Uh, you can go to the notice board and you can join and, you know, play with other people. You can create a party if you'd like, if you want some help to level up. There's generally uh, a decent amount of people here when you first start the game. The, the league's ending, so not as many people right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Click here to go to the coast to start Act 1. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell to get notified of the next video.